Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ash, AOB. You already know what it is. So, on today's episode of what we're doing with what's on the table, um, we got the Enduro out here. So, as you can see, it's got some fresh wheels on there right now. So I want to give a big shout out to Jerry for hooking that up. Um, also a big shout out to my girlfriend, because these are also a Christmas present that she got me from Jerry. So, thank you both. It's awesome. So these look pretty decent, not bad at all. Um, I did have <clears throat> a set of rims that I ordered from Endura um, that would have fit the style that I was going for, but they unfortunately got lost in shipping. So we ended up having to find another set so we could do the test on these. <clears throat> we also have the squids. There we are. We also have the squid inserts that we're gonna be running. But this is just to do a test with the regular foams in there. Look at that tire squish. That is, that's nice. But sorry about that. <laughs> um, we have the stock foams in here for the flat iron XLs from Proline. And then we have the squids, um, squid inserts from, I uh, can't remember the name of the company. I'll just put it down at the bottom here. But awesome. We're going to try these out in the same rims, of course. So we're gonna run these on the same set of lines. And then we're going to take out the foams that are in here, put in the squid inserts, and then we're gonna run the same lines and see what the difference is. This is supposed to give you a, a bit more um, uh, sidewall, sidewall in, uh, I'm losing my words, sorry guys. So like basically when you are side hilling with your truck, it's supposed to give you a little bit more flex upwards so that way it doesn't just topple over but we'll put that to the test these do feel really good like these are awesome they look really cool too it's got a lot of squiggly stuff going on in there if you guys can see that okay, you gotta go. let's give it a quick turn so you can see and this is how it's designed so don't remove anything from here this is how it is so these are going back in the box we're gonna do a run on these and then we'll see how it goes. Oh, one moment, one moment. Oh, surprise, surprise. So, ain't that something? So the Enduro wheels came today, ain't that it? But that's a good thing, I'm happy with that. So now we could actually run the ones that, the design that I wanted to run on this car, on the truck, Jeep, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. I thought these were lost in ship and I thought I'll never see these again. But here they are, they look so, oh my God. Let me just open these up so you guys can see. These are from Endura. Big shout out to Endura. Uh, they were a major help um, through customer service and helping me out and stuff like that. Um, and it, it, it got here. Like, thank you. <laughs> so you already know, we got some stickers. So we'll probably slap a couple more stickers on here because you already, this is the Endura buggy. So it's the Endura frames, got Endura parts on it, stuff like that. Like, it, it, it was an Endura to begin with. So figured let's throw some Endura wheels on there. And this is what I picked. Just gorgeous. We got the bronze to kind of go with the gold. And we got the deep dish with the chrome. Let's give it that, that flashy kind of style, you know? This is the birthday truck, so a lot of these parts came from my birthday, so <coughs> sorry about that. Figured I'll get it nice and top to off finished with these rims, which is going to look amazing. So we are not going to be running the test with these wheels because I want to see how it's going to perform with these because um, these are the wheels that are going to be running on this vehicle. They're staying on this vehicle. These are the ones I picked and choose for this vehicle, so I am so, so happy they're here. I can't wait to get these installed onto the vehicle, which I will show you guys in this video as well. So let's go ahead and um, strip these down. I'm going to take these all the four off, strip them down, take the tires out, take the foams out, put everything over here, be get everything sealed back up. And then we're going to do our first run with these with the stock foams in it. Then we're going to take it all back down. We're going to put in the squid inserts and then we're going to run the second run with those to see how those look. So the test runs will not be in this video. I'm just gonna be working on this right now. 
So then when it comes back, you will see how it looks with the new wheels on there. And then in the next video coming up, we will be doing the test runs. Um, we're going to be going to Huckleberry Trail, which is a trail really close to the house. So we're going to be doing the test runs there. There's also an event coming up tomorrow at, um, I can't remember exactly. I'll put it down here at the bottom. Memory's not working today, but there's an event for uh, out there tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna probably take the Red Cat out there because we never really got the chance to get the footage, get the testing, get all that done. So that will be for tomorrow. This one is just gonna get the wheels put on, get everything ready for its test runs. And maybe you might get this put in tomorrow as well at Huckleberry. So I want to do it at a trail that's close to my house. It's like literally like two minutes away instead of going far and then having to go back far to go do the second video. So yeah, so for this one, let me go ahead and get these wheels swapped over so you guys can see the finished product with this. I am so excited. Like this thing looks amazing. Like, wow. Actually, let me just pull one out the package so I can show you guys. There you are. Look at that. That's gonna be gorgeous. All right, and now I gotta clean the truck, make the truck look all clean again, so that this looks extremely nice when I put them on. So yeah, stay tuned. Let me go ahead and work on this and I'll be right back. All right guys, so boom, there she is. These wheels look amazing, amazing, amazing. Definitely got more stance on the truck because these are stanced out a little bit wider. So like, <laughs> I'll put a picture in um, of the difference. So you'll see before. And now you'll see after. Right. So, yeah, man, like I like the stance on this. Oh, the way it looks is amazing. Like, jeez, look at that. All right. Coming really far out now, so I should have way more turning clearance. So I'm happy with that by, by itself. These do have the stock foams in. Squid inserts are still here. So we're gonna be testing this tomorrow. Um, that video, video is going to basically start in the trail, on um, Huckleberry Trail. We are also taking the Red Cat Ascent out to its trail run tomorrow to give that a proper test and see how that's performing. Um, gotta give it a clean up and what's not. But yeah, this thing looks gorgeous, man. I love the wheels. You guys see that? The wheels look so nice. So I can't wait to test this out run the lines at Huckleberry once I have enough time tomorrow because I am going to be going to the trail at like 10 a.m. tomorrow with the Red Cat Ascent. I'm going to do the full trail and then after that we'll see how I feel where we're at and then we'll probably be doing this, the first run for this where we can just test um, your drivability as it is now and then we're going to slap in the squid inserts and see how the drivability is with those in there. Same tires, same wheels, same everything, just the foam inserts are being replaced. But that's all I have for you guys. Uh, big shout out again to Jerry, as well as my girlfriend for hooking us up for Christmas. Jerry for having these for sale. Thank you very much. These are still awesome. I just gotta find something to put them on now. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. So now I have a spare 1.9 aluminum bead lock. Always comes in handy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope I catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.